Hey guys, welcome to Southern Kill Zone. I'm Jacob Mack. Got a few guys that grew up with around here. Started videoing and we uh, love to hunt and fish and just wanted to share it with everybody else, you know. We cut up, we ain't no professional, you know. We, uh, we have a good time, first and foremost, you know. Very family oriented. We're gonna be doing some hunts, bringing some kids hunting and stuff like that. And uh, we ain't greedy by no means, you know. You may not see us on every video. We may be behind the camera most of the time, you know, but I kind of like it that way. I like to introduce people into the outdoors and everything like that. Got my little brother, Jared Mack. I called him my little brother. You know, he's, he's a little bit bigger than I am now. Can't whoop me, but he's bigger than I am now. You got uh, our buddy, Jordan Andrews, which is pretty much like a brother. You know, all of these guys pretty much came like brothers to us in a way, you know, we grew up together. And uh, here in the South, we don't really have too many friends. We got more family than anything, because most of the time, the ones that come around stick around, you just kind of work into your family anyway, you know. Uh, our buddy De Devin Peavy, he's a, uh, he's the youngest of the crew, I guess you could say, our little brother. You got Dylan Cadby, he, uh, we trying to keep him straight, you know. He's more of a big buck hunter of the crew. He uh he kills all the big bucks. But uh we'd be behind the camera a lot for him. He's got a good place up in Mississippi and all. We go hunt it and everything like that too. And uh it's gonna be exciting, I can tell you. Blaine Herring, I guess me and him and uh Jordan are more like than anybody because we pretty much jump up for anything and uh we'll find a way to kill something. You know, this is the kill zone. So, uh, we pretty much try to make it happen every time, you know. Jared's a little more patient. Dylan's pretty patient. Devin's pretty patient. Me and Blaine and Jordan, we, uh, we the go-getters, I guess you could say. We, uh, we cut up a little more. So, uh, I hope y'all like it. Stick around. This here's a hog hunt from actually on our home place here in Cogiel. We got 80 acres and all. It's wetlands, I guess you could say, because it stays flooded just about most of the year. We got a few ridges and all, just enough to put a little small food plot or something on. And uh, the last couple of years here in South Louisiana, we've been having a lot of hogs come around, you know. Before that, there wasn't nothing. You didn't hear of a hog being killed for probably 10 or 15 years, you know. But, uh, and a lot of the guys around here, they just want to eradicate them, you know. They want to get rid of them. We kind of like having something to hunt, so uh, we hunt them year-round, you know, with a bow or whatever, and they made it, the state's finally made it easier for us. We can hunt them at night and all without a permit. You just got to call your local uh, 911 center, I guess you could say, and uh, let them know that you're going to be hunting. You know, I guess they kind of keep up with the gunshots and all that stuff like that, so nobody's calling in random gunshots. But, uh, yeah, it uh, we got in there and baited up. And everything found the sign first then went and baited up and uh took us a couple weeks you know we had to bait them then we moved the feeder in because they was eating all the feed so quick and figured out exactly what kind of what holes we had coming in when we had i think it was four boars and a sow with probably eight or ten little ones which i wasn't crazy about killing them anyway we'll take out a small one 60 or 70 pounds sometimes throw in the pit but uh kind of wanted to focus on the boars and uh, we tried a couple times with a bow, and uh, they just wouldn't come in. I don't know what it is. They, uh, we did a little things different, I guess you say. The wind swirled. You're always fighting the wind with a hog, so they're the smartest. By, to me, they're the smartest animal down here. I mean, a deer is pretty pretty keen, but a hog can sense you in a heartbeat. You know, they, they got a better nose. So uh, we got in there this time, done something different. Came in a different way, waited for the wind to be right and everything you know i actually brought my little brother's gun in he is testing a scope out a atn x site hd that a friend of ours had and uh literally put it on the gun an hour before set it went back there got in the stand and uh as you can see it finally worked out for us everything come together so
been here probably 15 years or so, uh, right after we moved here. I don't know how many deer we've killed on it. I know we've killed a few hogs. My little brother's killed a hog here. I shot one here. Blaine's killed a hog here. Uh, countless amount of deer. And it's really only about 250 yards from the house, just through the woods. Yeah, it's done pretty good for us. And uh, there's a few spots I videoed coming in of hog signers, some rooting right here and rooting over here by where these logs was laid down at. And I may get some corn and bait them up, put my camera in here and get it ready. And uh, see if we can't get one on the ground. I'm headed out to the store to get some feed. Hopefully we got some corn or some rice bread or something. Hogs ain't too picky most of the time, you know, as long as it's good to eat, they eat it. Or it tastes good to them. Half the time the corn spoils on the ground if it rains or something, the deer won't touch it, the hogs will finish it off, they don't care. So uh, I'm gonna get some batteries, get some corn and rice bran, get the spy point set up, give it a couple days, kind of pattern them, and hopefully we get on them. I know I'm ready. I ain't put one on the ground in a while, so. I'll stick around. All right, see how easy it is to hook the spy point up with the way they got it set up with the system. You just put the strap on the tree. You got a little quick connect. I got the camera on already. Let's walk right here. Snap it on there. Make sure it's facing right where you want it. And that's it. About two to three minutes, I'll get a picture of my phone. I'll see if it's at the exact angle, if I need to back it up a little bit or move it forward. And uh, I'm gonna get on out of here. Make sure I don't leave no more scent. Give it a couple days, track it on my phone, and come back in here and try to bust one. So, y'all be along for the ride. Stiff legged. Your boy, right there, son. I guess I stick another one in him. Just to make sure. We'll be at run one, son. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> Love it when a plan comes together, son. Oh, yeah. Well, didn't work out with the bow, but, uh, old Jay Rod over here played the smack down. Tell him about it, Bubba. I oh, made it happen, y'all. We, uh, we got in here a little earlier today because uh, we had some overcast. We figured they might move a little early, and that didn't happen. Uh, we made three hunts in here in the last week or so, and uh, we've seen pigs every time. Just couldn't make it happen with the bow. That's a smart animal. Yeah, they're freaking smart. And uh, walk in with their head up. So, yeah, we had one come in the other night, and we sure thought we was going to make it happen with Jacob on the bow. But uh, we got in here tonight, tried out the uh, ATN night vision. And uh, we had one come in, man, and we made it happen. Oh, old test run. <laughs> That's right. I think it's worth it. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. Can't, we can't wait to show y'all. Yeah. Y'all stay tuned. Let's go get him, son. Hey, thing I like about it, ain't no track job. You lay one flat like that, huh? Guess what, though? That ain't the black one. Sure. He got some doggone cutters on him, though. Let's see, boy. Let's see this shot. 
<laughs> Turn it back over. Sent one, son. Right in his cranium. He just got done wallowing too, boy. Oh yeah. What took so long to get here? That's what I'm talking about. Love it when a plan comes together, huh, Bubba? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Light decided to come on now. I don't see the blind in the background. Talk about getting close. We were 20 yards from him. He kept running in and running out, so the boat didn't actually work out. But he stuck his head out a little too far one time, and J-Rod popped him with that 17 Winchester short mag. Well, we're gonna go get the bike and get him loaded up again. As you can see, it all worked out. Didn't get the video of us cleaning the hog and everything. It was hot. We was just ready to get it done. Didn't want it all to spoil and everything. And it was a big bore anyway, so of course you get him on ice better. But uh, we will be making more videos. Probably make some catch, clean, and cook videos. I know everybody does them, but uh, I mean, this is Louisiana, so it's probably gonna be a little different. So uh. Yeah, stick around. Hopefully, uh, hopefully y'all like this video and whatever we got coming up.